Hello my friends, welcome back. It's episode 54 of what will almost certainly be the last episode for this map because I think we pretty much have this under control. But anyway, let us continue. Oops. Oh well. See if we can finish the enemy infantry. Unfortunately, I think my allies will just repair next turn and not actually do anything useful. But boy, are my aircraft getting some experience. <laughs> Okay, fighters are available, and a great deal of the enemy is reachable. Or not. Oh well, I might rebase this slot to here. Okay, alright. So these guys left themselves vulnerable. To a quick hosing, which I will be happy to supply. At some point I need to repair this, but for now... There's just too many enemies to hose. I'll probably let this auxiliary infantry die now. There's... It's not, uh... It's not useful anymore. Let's rebase. We use these to scout around here. I've not attacked this artillery because I genuinely think that I can probably capture the lot of it. And for a guy who obviously is using the no artillery rule, I think going in here and at least taking the 15 centimeter is a good idea. There's another 15 centimeter down here which I wouldn't mind getting my greasy mitts all over it, so. For now, that is the plan. I think I might, if I keep weakening this infantry, I might bring my anti-aircraft guns down into the mountains here to help out. Right. Get wrecked. Okay, I need you over here. Let's, uh, this infantry here is going to be a pest, I just know it. I know it. He is the pest. Let's get these guys merged. Okay, so once these guys are dead and these two are captured, I want to get down here and capture this. I've got to be careful that my Spanish friends don't race down here and start wrecking everything. Yeah, 
yeah, I can't really do anything about them right now, can I? Uh, four suppression and five suppression. It's going to be a turn before they are capturable. So let's make sure that these guys stay suppressed. So I could hurt them, but they will almost certainly move to where they will no longer be encircled. And then they'll heal, which I don't want. Although, I could use this tank, actually, to bounce them around. Ah, I rolled low. Bad. Okay, I managed to put some hurt on them and keep them in the encirclement. I'll move this boy here. Just because this is rough terrain and I want to cover some of it, I can always move this infantry in here. Okay. Nothing left to do there, nothing left to do there. This strat bomber has got no, no target. Still clear. You know, ever since uh, enemy units just kind of appeared out of nowhere in that one mission, I've developed the habit of scouting areas over and over and over again. Just to be safe. Alright, they finished it. Although that does mean that they are close. That does mean that that infantry is close to the uh, the artillery that I'm trying to capture. Oof! Damn, that hurt. Considering how tough of a unit that normally is. Okay, so once again these guys have arranged themselves in a really stupid positions. Knowing my luck, they're going to heal up to 17 next turn just to be irritating. Try and hose these guys down with my anti -air, with my A guns. Unfortunately, that does mean that I need to move up one more space. Okay, I can get an extra kill here. And I didn't. <laughs> I can, but I won't because I low rolled. I can't believe how badly my allies are struggling to finish the job here. I am genuinely thinking that I need to send additional forces down here. What a sad thought that is. Right, let's... Anyway, let's focus on focus on the here and now. Don't have much choice, I need to heal him. Okay, where is that spy plane? Alright, so what I really want is that artillery. Which means that I need to surround it this turn in such a way that my Spanish friends cannot get to it. So 
I do not have an infinite supply of 15 centimeters. careful though because this is a close tile and this infantry here could definitely put the hurt on in the close tile For now, I'm not going to lock my ally out. I'm just going to create the surround. No, it's not surrounding. I'm not blocking the port tile. Well, that's annoying. I need my infantry down here to block the port tile for me. It's irritatingly in supply. I should have moved this here and just risked taking damage. Oh well. Ozen boys. Good opportunity to repair here. Okay, the first the first uh, set of defenders, infantry tile defenders are surrounded. It's an auxiliary plane, who cares? I was gonna let these die, but I'm just wondering now whether I should repair them just to help me with this. Probably not an issue. They are, they're both encircled now. And as long as they stay encircled, I am slowly going to win. I have so many turns left to get the job done. And this, this attack group will soon be free to assist. Nice. Okay, who did you go for? Oof. Oh, it surrendered, sweet. I see that that artillery is going to carry on being a pain in my ass. Yeah, you can't penetrate that. Why would you do that? Ugh. Isn't that annoying? No one can actually roll him down. Choo choo. The quest, like, basically, I could stick a unit in here and I know it would die. But it would start the process of in, of uh, suppressing these boys. Or I can wait a turn and send my infantry there. What the hell? Let's start the suppression process.
Okay, there's only two units left. What I'm hoping to do is position these in such a way I can poke this artillery around. This combat group is basically good to go. We'll clear this up and then we'll move up here. I'm not in a hurry. Plenty of time. No retaliation hose tank should start to get some work done now. I gotta be careful about taking these points actually. Because if my allies actually take these points, I won't be able to get back here to grab this artillery. I actually really need to kill this one and go across because these are blocking the way and leave this one alive uh, I may I may end the mission before it's time oh actually I could just prevent my no I can't I can't stop my allies from traveling through me so I might have to hold these guys in contempt while I uh, while I get some work done. That's about the only thing I can think of doing. Okay. Ah, of course they're going after the artillery now. I wonder how much experience points you get for being shelled like that. I know it gives you some. Oh, there's enemy infantry. In a really stupid place. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. That wasn't actually as severe as I thought it was going to be, to be fair. I'll quietly leave that artillery to suppress itself so I can capture as much of it as possible. Oh well. Nice! It's experience points in the bank, guys. Okay, and so we turn our attentions to this area. This was a really bad idea of yours. I didn't realize you had some spare infantry. 
But I certainly wouldn't have... Uh, I certainly wouldn't have moved them onto that tile. Choo choo. That entrenchment value is dropping, dropping, dropping. Okay, I have to send some more units up there soon. Ah, this area is actually reachable. Should have used the strap bomber. Oh well. Man, he is hungry for that anti aircraft gun. That's got to be the end. These guys are going to just go down here now and kill them, right? Nope, they healed themselves. These artillery boys must be having lots of fun. I can't wait to go over there and, and ruin them. What a surprise, they healed themselves. It's not every day you watch uh, anti-aircraft guns and artillery chasing infantry through the mountains, but uh, this is the reality that we in which we now live. Alright, buddy. Seems like I have no way to do uh, less than two damage. That I know of. Nope. Oh well. Thank you. Alright, so what I'll do now is just leave these guys alive until I'm finished with the rest of the map. So I'll just keep these guys alive while I clean this up, get over here and surround this artillery. I'm not that interested in most of it, but I do want to capture the 15 centimeter. So I've got more spares. I don't think I have, like, a desperately small amount of spares or anything, but... I have a... Uh, no, I don't have 100 spares. I have 75 spares. It's not bad. But it can soon disappear if you're taking a couple of damage every turn. You know, imagine I've got all three of my one centimeters, uh, of my 15 centimeters deployed, and they all take one damage per turn. That's three damage per turn total over the course of 20 turns. Suddenly, you've lost 60. So, you know, in some future mission where I'm under a huge amount of pressure, it could go badly. Why are you in an organic transport when both of them were set to undeploy there? Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'll hunt this guy down in the corner. Gonna split my recons here and just set up to make sure that this unit stays suppressed.
Nice. No! Oh well, hopefully my allies will do it. Hopefully my allies can get the job done. Why not? Puts experience points on my recon car. I'll be heading in there soon. Could have done with some bridge engineers actually. That would get me over there, but that's kind of, you know. In a way, that's a stupid thing to say. Because you'd never predict that you would need them for one really niche money-making situation. Great, they decided to run into a stupid position to attack the enemy. Leave that enemy infantry to live. 100% they're going to repair. Oh, the 15 centimeter moved. All right, boys, let's go. Because I can. Just keeping this guy alive. Okay, they moved. And then they moved again. Can't actually get any damage done, neither can you. Oh, the old hose machine can get them though. Nice. All right, the 15 centimeter is encircled. Ah, no, no, I don't want to go there. There we go. Okay, um, <laughs> what do I do about these guys? Well, I suppose they're providing me with some excellent opportunities for experience points. I just wish that they were dead. Maybe I can arrange for that to happen. God, imagine being in that infantry unit, being hounded and harassed by wings and wings of fire planes. Alright, so this is just an easy cleanup. Whenever. I'm a little bit irritated by this Spanish infantry diving in here as well. It's almost like it knew that doing that would be a pain in my ass rather than going over here and killing the enemy infantry. Eight turns left. Uh, 
Uh, okay, let's move this here. That then allows me to get this through. Okay, encirclement is complete. This is going to be the first boy to die. He does have some entrenchment though, which I can't get rid of without doing damage. I'm going to do my best to capture this before this infantry destroys too much of it. I wouldn't have mind capturing the uh, 105 as well, but it's not going to happen. I think he's going to just destroy it. Let's bring these units along for the purposes of filling in space or otherwise being a pain. In fact, I could use my artillery to actually remove the entrenchment by splitting it into pieces, but it's going to be like another three turns until it gets there. That might be too late. Too late by that point. Oh, they backed away. Happiness. <laughs> Good. Ah, oh, the enemy kind of moved in an awkward way. That's all right, though. That's it, that really worked out in my favor. Now all of it is mine. All of it is mine to ruin as I see fit. Let's get the artillery in there to remove the entrenchment so I can make the claims. Hope we can get that AA gun killed fast. Okay, so I need to unentrench that one. The rest need a little bit more suppression before they are ready for capture. I think this one may try to slide out of my grip, so I'm just gonna rearrange so he cannot. Uh, and that's it for this turn. He always manages to push. <laughs> He always manages to push the uh, the unit to a position where it can heal itself. Smash him. Oh, look, it lived. Anti-aircraft gun killed by a fighter plane. How's that for irony?
Right. We are now in position to remove entrenchment from the enemy so that we can make captures. Oh, these two in the middle do not need any entrenchment removing. Just needs a love tap. That one needs it. That one needs it. This one doesn't, but I don't have uh, any spare units to set up the surround correctly. Okay. Do you know what? We're even going to finish this with loads of turns to spare, despite using loads of turns to actually farm. <laughs> Why not? And there goes his entrenchment. Okay, and there goes his entrenchment too. Wow, four infantry would still do two damage. Harsh. Thank you. Two damage, two damage, two damage, two damage. Everything does two damage. I presume that the slightly weakened recon car wouldn't do too damage, but uh, whatever. It's <laughs> so rich. <laughs> like 6,000 prestige. And how much will we gain for finishing this? Nothing. That's generalismus for you. That's it. It's over. Excellent news just came in, my general. From my mountain of prestige, I look down upon the peasants. <laughs> yes. The Aragon offensive was a complete success. They have been, the, the Republicans have been split in half. Anna tells me this looks to be the beginning of the end of the Civil War. Republicans aren't likely to take the massive setback lying down. We should prepare for the worst. Historically, by the, by the time the Aragon offensive was over, Republicans attempted to sue for peace. But since Franco demanded nothing less than unconditional surrender, the war would continue on. Unconditional surrender. My kind of guy. Unconditional your shit in my pocket. Ah, <laughs> oh, so much money. It's great. Set me up for the rest of the campaign. I had 20 grand going into this mission and now I've got like 25 grand. Crazy. And plenty more artillery spares. Okay. Good morning, Herr General. Republican probing attacks, and since yes, they are no mere probing attacks, the general is most convinced we are facing now the largest Republican e offensive ever assembled. A <laughs> light beer to start my day, but I guess Armageddon will have to suffice. 
Hold three victory hexes at all times. Bonus objective, hold them all. Now garrisons across the length of the the Ebro. I guess that's what that's that, the name of that. It's clear the Republicans mean to link their fractured territories back together, and we must stop them. And the skies will be swarming with Republican Raters. So I guess once again, a massive fleet of auxiliary fighter planes will be of great benefit to me. Okay, to victory for Germany. My in general, I have learned that one of our best strike pilots is being recalled to Germany for promotion and reassignment. Mr. Galland would rather be in a fighter squadron. He specifically requests something with a closed canopy, apparently. Yes. Give him to me. Fast deployment? Ugh. <laughs> I'm not really getting the heroes, am I? Jesus. I suppose fast deployment means uh, that that new general trait is not very useful to me. And I got a lethal attack guy, so anti-air veteran is not as useful either. Ugh. Where's my double strike? Where's my zero slots? <laughs> I'll even take one and a half slots at this point. Oh. Well, I suppose on an artillery or an 88 that will be useful. Oh. Ooh. Another legendary hero! Yay! Just more prestige from my ever growing pile. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so the guy is blatantly a fighter pilot. You know what's interesting? Um, if I were to combine him with the other hero, this one, hit and run, he will be incredibly effective against enemy fighters because his initiative will always be just so much higher than theirs. Although I did like having it on this tank. Right, anyway, that is it for now. Join me next time for the deployment episode for... Battle of the Ebro. We've also been given an extra eight core slots to play with. So that'll be interesting. I guess the Ebro is this river. Yeah, there we go. And of course all the hexes that I need to hold are being held by my allies. Which is a worry. Because we know how great they are. Alright, anyway, that is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.